Hey everybody, uh, Johnny Richardson here again and I wanted to go through this one key thing that you must do every day in your business. Um, this is, it's effectively, it, it, it's one of the business disciplines and it's one of the business disciplines that in many cases people who work within the hospitality business uh, or the industry, um, but specifically coffee shops, tend to kind of veer away from. There's a slight tendency within the industry that if you produce a really good product, the customer will just toddle along in, um, tell all their friends and everything will be fine. It is simply not the case. It is very, very, very rare that that happens. So this one key thing that you must do every day is marketing. And the problem with that is most people who come into the industry and as I say, all forms of hospitality here are not marketing experts. So you have to learn marketing. You have to understand how you can get a customer to come into your business. It is exactly the same kind of skills that you learn in terms of producing the perfect um, steak and chips, the perfect um, scone, the perfect cup of coffee, the perfect cappuccino, any of those things, it is a simple, it's not necessarily a simple skill, but it is a skill that you need to acquire for and put in place in your business. And in a tough economy, your ability to get customers to come in and spend money in your business is the thing that will keep you afloat. Having a great product is not enough to keep you afloat. So I cannot emphasize this enough. The one thing that you need to do every day in your business is set aside some time to do some marketing. And the reason why I say um, do it every day rather than sort of, you know, once a month or something like that in a big block is you, the, the discipline is that important. Now, some of you are then out there working away or planning in this, in this new business that you have yet to open that, you know, where will you find the time to do that because you'll be working away in it. Well, you have to make the time. So that comes back to that creation of systems to allow the business to run without you so that you can spend time away from that working on the business. And one of the key things is working on your marketing. Now, we have a course specifically all about this, which you can find out about at getanewcustomer.com. And it is specifically eight of the key methods that you need to have to learn how to get a new customer. Now, that is only one third of the ways that you need to use marketing. So what I mean by that is actually there are three ways and only three ways to increase sales. And marketing is effectively all about you increasing sales. The first way is getting new customers. That's what we deal with in the Get A New Customer site, getanewcustomer.com. So that is one strategy for increasing sales. You get more customers to come in, spend more money with you, and your sales go up. The second one is to get your existing customers, when they are in, to spend more. Increase your average spend. It's a really fundamental part of the, uh, of the whole mix. It's actually a cheaper thing to do, and is often ignored by most operators. It's a cheaper thing to do than trying to get a new customer. And that really effectively means um, everything that the customer sees uh, uh, from their first interaction with your business. And in many cases, that's a sign, maybe an A-frame outside, a sign elsewhere. Um, when they first interact with that business, everything from there through until the till when they've made the transaction. That's what I tend to group as all of the merchandising issues. Huge amount of information there. We're going to put together another course dealing with all of that. And all of that is to do with things about increasing that average spend. Now, that doesn't mean doing lots of aggressive upselling, as we always say. Upselling is not right necessarily, generally, for a coffee shop environment. It can work quite well in the restaurant environment, the fast food environment. It depends upon your business. Upselling is one thing that you can do to increase average spend. Cross-selling is another thing to do. Cross-selling, i.e. selling a cup of, selling a piece of cake with the cup of coffee. Uh, selling a soft drink with lunch, or with a hot meal. Selling a cup of coffee as well as the soft drink on top of the meal. Selling a dessert as well as, uh, as a main course. So that's sort of cross-selling and up-selling and moving the way around so that you have an increased customer spend. 
um, we have effectively got in and around 10 absolutely classic merchandising rules which we will get out there at some stage soon um, they vary from business to business but there basically are 10 principles that we go through in terms of what you need to adhere to in terms of increasing that spend so first way to get increased sales first part of the marketing is to get new customers the second part is to increase the amount of money that those people spend when they're in the business and the third way is to get your existing customers to come back more often one of the classic ways in the coffee shop business is to uh, to have you know uh, stamp cards uh, loyalty cards it's a very good way of ensuring that that customer comes back and gets their card stamped and continues to stay with you so uh, there are lots of other ways that you need to be focusing on that as well this, this isn't this is just a general overview in terms of what you need to be doing so everything that kind of happens after they've been to the till until they go out all of the ways that you can hook them to come back are the ways to increase the um, the frequency with which they visit your business if you can get a customer to come three times a month as a two times a month uh, that obviously has a 50% increase in what you've got there again it's kind of ignored a lot within the industry so don't be just thinking about getting new customers uh, be thinking about the other two ways as well so that is effectively what um, what marketing is all about and those are the things that you need to be focusing on in a structured way every day and I mean by that is you need to set aside time have a marketing plan and be working on ways to increase uh, all of those three things not all of those three things every day but you need to be doing marketing every day within your business you need to be thinking marketing you need to be setting aside time to ensure that you are continuing to drive sales from any of those three factors so that is the one key thing that you need to do every day and it is marketing thank you